Hey everybody, it's Alyssa. I've got another sneak peek for you today from the upcoming annual Stampin' Up! catalog. If you need one, let me know. Um, I can't show you the inside yet, but on May 2nd it goes live and there are all sorts of absolutely adorable and fun new stamp sets, colors, and papers inside. Really excited about some of these. One that caught my eye instantly was the little monkey bundle. Look at this. It's so sticky cute. And it has a monkey punch. Isn't that hilarious? Look, it even punches out the banana. <laughs> Love it. So you get three different monkeys up to up to antics there. Uh, bananas, hearts, different branches, vines, and some greenery. And of course, funny little sayings to go with it. So this is actually the first... Um, stamp set from my demonstrator only pre-order that I got ink on right away because it was so cute. I just had to use it. So here's a couple of things that I've made with it. Fun. That's the monkey punch there. So that's the monkey that, that the punch fits. Oops, this one's upside down. <gasps> Look at these colors. Isn't that fun? This is actually lemon lime with parakeet party pattern paper. And then Parakeet Party and uh, Granny Apple Green on the leaves. And this color, very cool, is uh, Wild Wheat, brand new color. Love that one. I'm Bananas About You. So cute. Isn't that fun? And I love how, how this leaf looks made um, kind of like a pattern paper for the background. Super cute. There's another one, Bananas About You. Got two monkeys on this one. So cute. And then this is the one that we made in club this month. We did not use the punch, but I wanted to make sure you got to see it anyway. And it's really quick and easy, so I thought we'd make that one together today. So, Little Monkey Stamp Set coming May 2nd. All right, let's see. We need to make this card. Um, this is Parakeet Party cardstock, this bright lime green, and it is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded in half. Then you're going to need a piece of white that's four by five and a quarter to put on the inside. Then you're going to need, let me just double check these measurements so I don't tell you wrong. Let me get a stray sequin there. Um... Something is sticky on my ruler. Let's see, two and a half by four. So that would make the mat, which I used soft suede brown, is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So you can get eight of these out of a sheet of eight and a half by 11. So that's really nice. So it's just a very simple layout. Look at that, doesn't get any more simple than that. But the way we stamp it is going to make it something really special. Okay, so I've got some table paper here, my card, and I'm opening Granny Apple Green. And the reason I went with this one is because it will add a little bit of darker, of the same type of green, but a darker shade. And so it won't be to just tone on tone. It'll actually be standing up from the pattern. Oh, I already mounted the stamp. I forgot. So here's a little trick for you. If you are trying to stamp something randomly, <laughs> it's harder than it looks sometimes, isn't it? Always start in the center and work your way off the paper. And the reason for that is if you start on the outside and work your way in, you will probably wind up with some dead spots, areas that aren't quite big enough to fit one more leaf in. So there's kind of a blank space. But if you've started working your way from the inside towards the out, there's never any weird blank spot and you can stamp all the way out and off the edge. So that's why I start in the middle. There we go. Easy peasy, right? There's our fun little background paper. Add a tiny bit here and there just to make sure it looks like the pattern extends all the way off. Cute. Okay, that's all we need this ink color for. And that, I know that's not perfect there, so the, the cool thing would be to grab the matching marker and just 
carefully fill that in, but I'm going to ignore that today. All right, what's next? Let's do our stamping with the Tuxedo Black Memento Ink Pad. And the reason we are using this special ink pad is because I'm going to be doing my coloring with the Stampin' Blends markers, which are alcohol-based markers. So you need a water-based ink pad if you're using alcohol-based markers. If you're using regular water markers, then you would use an alcohol-based ink pad. So whichever, whichever form of coloring you want to do, it, you choose the opposite formula for your ink pad. So alcohol markers, water-based ink pad. All right, let's do some stamping. Get my little mat out of the way here. I'm going to just try to recreate what we did at club with my branch, my saying, my bananas about you, and my monkey. And I'm going to have to put my monkey at a little bit of an angle to get him to fit because I stamped my branch just a little bit low. Oh, so cute! I love that the stamps are clear so you can see exactly where to position your monkey and all the additional leaves and things that you're going to be adding. You don't have to worry about accidentally overlapping anything. So we've got our extra, extra leaves here. Up at the top and then we'll put our little banana on down here by his hand whoo just fit okay so note to self if you're doing this stamp your branch just a little bit higher up so you have a little more room here we we worked it out but it was close all right let me get the stamps and ink out of the way and actually i will leave this um protective paper here because um, Stampin' Blends markers will bleed through your cardstock and you want to have something protecting your table. I'm going to leave our original monkey over here just to give us some idea of what it's going to look like when we're done. So blends come in pairs and they have a light and a dark version of each other. And I usually start with the light and add dark as an accent. Some people start with the dark and add the light. It's really just a matter of taste. But either way, you want to make sure that you're putting quite a bit of Parakeet Party down so that it coordinates with your um, background cardstock color. The other color I've got here is um, Granny Apple Green, which again is matching that ink color that we used. So it's just bringing in some darker green. Love it. And then I'm adding even darker as my accent. And with blends markers, you want to work quickly too because um, the alcohol dries extremely fast and it will stop blending when the alcohol is dry. Oh, I totally forgot this one over here. So the faster you can work with that, the better um, blending you will get because the alcohol will still be wet. There, we got some nice, whoops, <laughs> we'll just ignore that. Actually, there is a, a marker called the Color Lifter and you can, oh, mine's a little drippy, soak that up. You can um, use it to help erase a color blob that you got outside of the lines. You can see it, it doesn't truly erase it, but it can really soften it up. I don't know if you can see my my boo-boo here where there was green outside of the line and now it's kind of um, grayish and melts into the background a little more. So this is called a color lifter marker and it's like, it's like almost having like an eraser for your markers. Um, and it only works with these alcohol markers. So little tip for you. Then I wanted to bring in some of the soft suede brown, which is a retiring color of brown. Um, but I wanted to bring it in because I was using up my cardstock mat here. I am loving the new pecan pie color that has kind of replaced soft suede. It is so pretty. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna add a couple of little accent bits on my monkey here. Little end of his banana. 
And then speaking of, oh no, these, oh, these are copper clay. Oh, fun. I thought these were going to be pecan pie, but they're actually copper clay. So I'm going to start with the light. So our monkey Scott Brown with a little hint of reddish tinge to him. It's a nice um, contrast to all the green. There's our little monkey swinging from the trees. So cute to think about all the fun little kids that I can send this card to. New babies. I can do a baby shower with this. This is going to be fun. Yeah, my coloring has gone downhill. The older I get, the worse my coloring gets. Do you guys <laughs> find that yours gets better or worse? Uh, I used to be a really good colorer. Um, this color is Crumb Cake Light. And I just wanted to make sure that the face was light enough to see the cute little expression there. So I left that one light. And then I'm going to use the um, Light Wild Wheat. Just that new... Uh, really dusky yellow color and that's my banana oh he's so cute you guys i just love him all right we're almost done oh see how it bled through there that's the back side so that's why you want to protect your table otherwise that would be on your work surface there there he fits perfectly on his mat and he's going to fit perfectly on the front. Oh, I'm going to use dimensionals so he pops up a little bit. As he's swinging through the jungle. Oops. <laughs> I don't have any fingernails right now. <sighs> there we go. So who would you send this card to? Do you have a little monkey in your family? All right. And I planned this card on purpose so that I could cover up that smudge with, by putting the, um, the paper on the inside here. There we go. It is ready to go. I could stamp something cute in there as well. But that's how we did it at club with just a little bit of embellishment down here to balance out this corner. Cute, fun. So there we have it. Little monkey stamp set coming up in the new Stampin' Up! catalog. I would be more than happy to send you one. Um, you can go to embellishwithlissa.com and contact me from there, or you can go straight to um, lissa.stampinup.net and fill up that shopping cart. Let me know if I can help you in any way. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye guys.